Hey guys, welcome back to another video here today. And as you can see by what you're seeing on camera, these are the Hobbles, or Spin Master Monster Gym trucks that I picked up from Target just two days ago. I decided to make the video now. The last two days have been really busy at work with Mother's Day being quite a busy day for everyone wanting to get food for their moms and whatnot. So also, Happy Mother's Day. I know it was yesterday, but Happy Mother's Day regardless. As you can see, the trucks that I got here today are Bro Dozer, the double pack of Monster Mutt Dalmatian and Monster Mutt Husky, uh, Max D and Aftershock, a Toro Loco and Slinger, a uh, Zombie and the uh, Chevy S10, or not really the S10, it's the Avenger 20th anniversary, but it has the uh, Cadillac printing on the grill. I did not find the S10, they did not have that in stock. They did have Scooby-Doo in the Mystery Machine, but I didn't have enough money to buy that, so I got what I could. Um, they had some Howl's Monster Trucks there, but I was really looking to get Howl's Spin Master. Alright, if I do go back to storage, which hopefully will be soon, because this is the first time I've got trucks since, I believe, uh, January of last year, and that pretty much sucks. I didn't get to really... I'm um, collect last year, but hopefully these can uh, um, freshen up the lineup a little bit. Nine trucks is pretty good. And of course, as you can see, these are on a bed. I will be putting them on the floor right over there. Hopefully the lighting is good. I have the light on right there. I might take the uh, shading off to produce a little more, a little bit better lighting. I already have the uh, windows open right there, as you can see. So yeah, uh, first, I suppose we'll open up uh, probably Zombie first, and then we'll go on from there. So we'll open up Zombie first as truck number one. Or hopefully you guys can see it. As I said before, we're moving this to the floor area. Um, this is just the uh, plastic figure that came in the set. Nothing really special about it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna like just, I just put it right over there on the side of the bed. Now, zombie. Um, this truck's always. This truck has easily been reviewed already, of course, because they finally gave it arms for the first time since its uh, debut into um, Monster Gym. Like. I believe they started giving it arms in 2015, and then the truck, Hot Wheels wise, was supposed to produce in 2014, but without arms. And of course, as years progressed, they kind of did the tie on it, then they took it off. And then we were given a yellow zombie in 2017, and they made a lot of zombies in 2015, but they only made yellow zombie and the skeleton one. But the skeleton one was unfortunately never to be produced, and the red one and biker zombie was not produced either. So I won't really be reviewing these trucks that much because they already have been reviewed. So my review wouldn't really mean anything else. But you can see right here, it's a pretty standard truck. The graphics are great. You know, I don't mind this tooling of the body, but it has that little black thing on the back. But the arms, of course, are nice. You can, like, adjust them however you want. Make them, like, he's screaming or something. <laughs> so, yeah, like that. So that's pretty nice. I like the mechanism. But regardless, the arms are really the main part of why this truck, why this zombie stands out from the Hot Wheels one. And right there, that's why. So zombie, looking pretty nice. So that's that. Up next, we're, um, we're going to uh, unbox probably Brodozer up next. I'll save the Demolish Doubles for last. So Brodozer is next. Here's the figure that came with Brodozer. It's pretty much the same figure, just a yellow one. Um, but of course, he is, has his hand up instead of having a helmet on the side. Anyway, uh, Brodozer is the main focus here. Um, yellow rims. On otherwise uh, black wheels pretty much the main colors of the truck are black and yellow you know brothers when it came out we had to wait about almost a year for it to actually compete in stadiums but when it did it made certainly its debut I love how they uh, modified the bed part right here like the original truck that is very very nice so I'm just gonna move it again I'm trying to get a good angle here guys um, you know, it says brothers are right there I'm trying to see if I can focus if you can can it focus yes or no I think that's about the best it's best it will be getting. I'm sorry, guys, if it's not good quality. But hopefully you guys can hear me as well. I'm trying to make sure my videos these days are perfect. But yeah, Brodo's there, you know, you, you got the hood right there. Hold on. Let me actually move this up to the uh, this area right over here. It has uh, a lot of uh, stuff. All right, maybe now you guys can see a little better. It looks like it can. Yeah, actually you can. What do you know? So I'll we'll actually be unboxing the truck right over here. But so far, Brodo's there, you know, this is what it looks like. Um, black and yellow main colors has the uh, little. Um, I'm gonna guess that's probably like for cargo and stuff, like the cargo holder. I'm gonna call that, I guess, right there on top. And otherwise, truck's pretty basic. The back part is really what I like the most. They accurately got that down. So yeah, Brodozer, pretty sick truck. Up next will be the uh, 20th anniversary Avenger with the Cadillac printing on the front, not the exact one. So here is the truck. The uh, 20th anniversary adventure. Let me move this water bottle out of the way so you guys can get a better look. See some M&Ms right there in the background. <laughs> but, uh, um, again, guys, hopefully the quality is good. I, I understand it's not maybe the best, but like I said, I'm working with what I can here. I, I still am making videos, but anyway, 
you know, light green rims, light green is the main color, Chevy S10, or not Chevy S10, the Cadillac printing on the front, like I said, they did not have the original, or the proper 20th Anniversary Avenger in stock, so I had to sell on for this one, Lucas Oil products on the back right there, it's a basic sticker, everyone knows what it looks like pretty much, and you know, it has the uh, designs, I like how they put the sponsorships on there, it's pretty nice, I like that, I'm trying to get a good look, one second. Alright, hopefully that's better. I, I actually uh, moved the curtains back just a little bit more. So yeah, this is pretty much the Avenger, you know, has the logos up on the top, as you can see. And yeah, that's pretty much the Avenger for you. That's all three of the single trucks that I got. Up next will be the doubles, and uh, I'm decided maybe we'll do we'll do Maxine after truck first, followed by the Mutts, and then the one I want to unbox the most, El Toro Loco and Slinger. Here are the two trucks, Maxine after truck out of the package. Hopefully, uh, once again, we have good lighting. But anyway, you know, Max D, I already have a Max D from Spin Master my collection, but it does not have BKT printing or the orange uh, roll cage or chassis right there, as you can see. You know, of course, it's pretty much like the other Max D. Spikes are pretty made good. The casting is the same. I guess the only real difference is the, t the printed colors with BKT, as well as the tires being a little orange, as, as you can see right there. The orange rim right there. Otherwise, than that, Max D is relatively the same. After shocks, when I, when, the one I want to. All right, here we go. Back at it again, because I can't speak. But anyway, uh, the. the well, I have to say, this is probably the most colorful truck I got here. You know, it features blue, gray, green, uh, the yellow right there, or lime green, I guess we'll call that. Um, of course, blue is a roll cage. Colorful truck. Really like how they made this design on this tooling. It's pretty good. To have the truck, pretty nice, pretty colorful. You can see right there the uh, graphics, if I move back just a little bit. Yeah, right there. That's actually the best. That's actually how the quality will be, like the best I can get. Anyway, that's after truck. That's after Shock and Max D. Up next will be Marshmallow Animation and Marshmallow Husky. Alright, so here they are. They're, um, these are, these double packs do not come with minifigures, so no need to review those. Anyway, we have Marshmallow Dimension. Pretty much looking the same. Red rims, again. And BKT printing. Otherwise than that, it's pretty much the same like my other one. So we're going to take that one out. Marshmallow Husky is the one we're going to be focusing on here. Blue rims. Uh, the truck is based on a husky dog. with the husky tail right there on the back. And the tag right there, if you can see says monster mud husky if you can which you should for whoever has it the ears are up like like they should i love the design of this truck it really stands out I like how they made different monster muds this year love like poodle and husky of course that's pretty nice so monster mud husky pretty much has been reviewed by everyone and now it's been reviewed by me pretty sh fast pretty basic monster mud husky pretty nice looking truck with, all right with the two months out of the way that leaves the last double pack we have which is alto loco and slinger Here's the last Demolition Doubles pack that I have, or rather double pack, hopefully um, that's the right way to say it. But anyway, El Toro Loco, I already have one of them, and the only real difference is uh, printing of the rims of the colors from El Toro Loco onto the rims. Uh, BKT is printed obviously there. Better flames, better graphics is pretty much what it depicts right here. So you can see right there. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is all around the truck, so it's pretty good. Just thing is about to roll off. Anyway, that's also loco. Now, Stinger's the main focus here on the Trophy Truck body. We've already got this Stinger unleashed. I do not have that truck yet, but I might get it from a trade. Um, let's see who. Now, Slinger. We never got a gun Slinger on this tooling, which is really sad. But, of course, with how Feld is very much anti-gun, we will probably never receive that in the future. Unless it is made from a customizer, which in this community, there's quite a few, actually, on Instagram. We can go look at uh, OCD and uh, some other guys out there. So Slinger, you know, I like this right here, like this little uh, tooling they have. It connects the two uh, bed parts together. So that's nice. It has Slinger on the side. Pretty basic truck, honestly. They got the rims right, too, like white on the, white on the inside, red on the outside. That's pretty nice. This looks absolutely amazing. I love how they took advantage of the trophy truck body, and they made Slinger a truck that and not many of us saw coming, but here we are with Slinger. And that Slinger is in my collection. I never thought I'd have that. So yeah, that is, that is all. As you can see, look at all the garbage right here. <laughs> Pretty crazy, honestly. I had to put them somewhere. Anyway, let me go to a local. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know that was a little bit of a mess in this video about how it was made and produced. You can see all the garbage over here. I want to. You can see all the garbage. I have to throw that out. But regardless. Thank you guys for watching. Nine trucks in total. There they are, as you can see. From Zombie, Maxi, Aftershock, Brodozer, Marshmallow Dalmatian, Marshmallow Husky, 
Um, Avenger 25th anniversary, El Toro Loco, and Slinger. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you for Team Racing and maybe a Sam Series number 34 signups. Peace.